a bill working its way through the legislature would have a significant impact on the state's burgeoning biotechnology sector and pharmacists too. It would require pharmacists to notify doctors when they substitute a class of drugs known as biologics with substitutes called biosimilars. Biologics are cultivated from living cells. Biosimilars are similar to biologics, not identical, but less expensive. Pharmacists are hoping the FDA will decide which are interchangeable. The biotech industry is fighting it. Sponsoring the bill to require more regulation is Assembly Deputy Speaker Pamela Lampett. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, Mary Alice. I'm happy to be here. Why do substituting biologics for biosimilars need to be regulated? Why does that need to be regulated? Well, as you stated, uh, biologics and biosimilars are cultivated by a live cell. And these particular drugs, uh, you know, attack the autoimmune, the autoimmune systems of the individuals that are, are being, that are using these drugs. And during that sort of process, uh, a slight change in the development of a particular drug could cause a, a, a variation that could be extensively harmful to an individual. So, for example, they could have contact sort of rash or even more severe, they could have something that could exasperate an existing condition and, and maybe put you into a full-blown asthma attack or something of that sort of nature. Now, what would the bill require pharmacists to do? Well, actually, you know, when there's biosimilars and then the FDA is going to all actually uh, do an interchangeable biosimilar as well. So they're already going to predetermine when a, when a biosimilar can be interchangeable to a biologic. And because there are going to be multiple inter interchangeables with different companies making them, and because of the tenacious nature of the drug, it's going to be important for the prescriber, the physician, to know exactly which drug is being being issued. It's about the therapeutic care of the individuals. Now, how you know, is these this, individuals... Hmm? I was going to ask, how is this different from substituting generic drugs for name brand drugs? Well, you know, they're chemical-based drugs. They're not as tenacious in terms of the, the acclimature within the body's systems. And as you said, they are live cell drugs. And so, and they do attack the body's um, uh, autoimmune system. And so that's why it's so important. And because that a slight variation in the drug that's being, being prescribed uh, could have a different reaction to your chemical makeup, it's so important that the actual prescriber know which drug has been issued because it's the therapeutic care. These individuals are on these drugs, they're, ca they're cancer patients, they're rheumatoid arthritis, they might have severe digestive problems. Their body is already compromised, and being on a therapeutic level of a particular drug is essential to the success and the health of the individuals. And very quickly, why is this important legislation to pass in New Jersey specifically? Well, if we don't pass it, then biosimilars and interchangeable biosimilars will not be able to be prescribed or distributed uh, within the state of New Jersey. So patient safety, patient care, and access um, with, uh, with continuity of care um, is why we need to do it in New Jersey. All right, thank you so much for being with us, Assemblywoman Pamela Lampett. Thank you.